We're moving on to what I would consider, me personally, the best Yak of the entire Yak line. BR for BR. The Yak 3. There's the premium French version, which is awesome. This thing is like, you have no excuses if you don't do well in the Yak, nah, uh, Yak 3. The only thing you have to have is a little bit of trigger discipline, but it is insanely powerful. I would say it's better than the 109s. I would say it's better, arguably, than a Zero, as it's more of a generalist. And that generalist is what makes it so strong, because it's got an incredible engine, incredible energy for the BR. I'm trying to think of a 4-3, so probably the Piermirsky. Piermirsky is probably the only other thing that I would really be afraid of in the Yak-3. And then maybe an XP-50 over the top of you. Yak-3 is an incredible aircraft at this BR. Let's get off the runway, Boris, and let's go kill some folks. Excuse me, YouTube. Let's go shoot some enemies down. Here, let's, let's just take this as an example. Now, admittedly, the Yak-3 is not the best climber at this BR range. But I am locked at a 20 degree angle and I was climbing at 270 indicated. So yeah, this thing has low altitude energy, which usually all the fights devolve down below 3000 meters. And it's just an incredible engine on an incredible airframe with good firepower. You just have a very small amount of it. So that's about your only weakness in the Act 3 Hey, now that's not something you see every day. That is a a 109 Zwilling so it's basically your yeah don't don't take a head on with that thing I want this Pierre Mersky out of the match come on you got him right there he's lying he's stalled out he's not even moving come on oh shoot here we go it got him now we want the Spitfire next Got hits, good hits on him. He's gonna go into that spin. Looks like it. Alright, we're gonna help out with the 109. He covered me. Pulling, pulling, pulling. We got him here. Nice. Sorry, P-51, didn't know you had it. Spitfire's still in a spin, I think. Yeah, that's going to be three. So if it doesn't get stolen, it has an opportunity to be stolen here. I'll do it again. Yeah, there's an assist. Love it. Yeah, let's see here. Severe damage with my last remaining bit of ammo. Now he's in a spin, but at least he's got severe damage, so you can welcome to finish him off. Alright, Boris. Holy crap, dude. We just need one more kill. Hopefully it's a good game. I don't want to end on, like, a little crappy little... I mean, I'll take it if it keeps you alive, but, like, come on, Boris. This mosquito wants some smoke, I think. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Alright, I'll take it. It's bullshit. I mean, he did kind of fly straight, but I'll take it. Look at the 109 I was going to kind of keep an eye on. We'll hit him with this P50. Oh, they're already dead. Okay, never mind. I mean, if you're going to do that, and you are kind of a threat. Hit, got a severe damage, and his wing is gone. Tell him I'll 
telling you guys. A properly played, and I'm not. I'm not even saying I'm properly played the, the Yak Three, but a properly played Yak Three. The only reason it's at this BR anymore, still, and it, it it should go up, maybe. The only reason it's at this BR is because of the lack of ammo, because it really has nothing to fear out here. P51. Let's go fast. Yeah. Good. Take you away from the SB2C. We'll turn out that way. Alright, now I'm gaining on you. Shit. Okay, we're turning out. We'll turn it back because we're going to try and get the see off my airspace oh wow this is a good shot that I will actually take credit for for just being a solid dang shot not gonna lie I'm like mashing the save clip button because that's a sick shot Before he has a chance to BNZ me more. Uh, I probably should have had him right there in that head on. He didn't really have a good angle. I do anticipate on catching him here though. Just keeping it nice and shallow. He's gonna dive out, I bet. I would. So now you've all given up position. Now I could fall down in that mess right there and eventually they'd drag me down. Alright, here we go. Coming back up. Mistake. Ah! Oh! Shit! Who's coming up? He's RTB. They are on their side. He's gonna be in. Oh, you know, I'm actually not that afraid of him. Firebrand's not really a threat. Here's, he's gonna make one more pass. When he does, I'll dive on the Firebrand. Oh, Firebrand's dead. Here we go. He's running away. He's running away. I'm still catching him. Yeah. Turn inside his turn. I think he's cooked on this one. Blackout shot. I hate the fucking AI. They're so damn loud. There's an ace. That 109 is probably getting away from me. He's turning around. Alright, good. Again, another loud AI. Okay. Okay, Papa Biscuits. I like it, dude. Alright. We don't have enough to kill everybody. That is a triple strike, though. I'm gonna win on points. Which is a real shame. That's just... I mean, this shows the Yak 3, though, though, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. Six kills. Oh, yeah, we died on AI. That's happened before. Six kills. The only reason why I'm not actively going to their base to try and finish these two guys off is because I don't have any ammo left. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Good game, though. Nice job, Boris. I definitely think we showed the, the Yak 3 on that. I definitely think it's time to move on. Let's see what we got next. So, got our last kill for the Yak 3. Moving on to the Yak 3P at battle rating 5.0, which means we will need a true ace, of course, to move on but once we get past the yak three it'll all be aces or five kills without dying so that boris can move on if you're still here hit that like subscribe button check out the next video in a series in this series and uh we'll see you in the next one youtube have a good one